Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a bit, right? Uh, yeah, so I have been stuck in this loop of having taken time off of YouTube or just social media in general, the internet as a whole, um, and I didn't really address it or anything, and I have been, I've been seeing all of your guys' DMs and messages and comments and everything. Um, I'm still here, I'm good. Uh, I basically let it get to the point where, like, the longer I didn't upload, the more pressure I felt the need to, like, explain why I've been gone and make, like, a comeback video. It's not necessary. That is anxiety talking, which is primarily where I went to deal with my brain for a while. Um, I'm kind of contemplating, kind of just bringing up, just talking about, like, mental health in general more on my channel just because it's healthy for me to discuss it, but also... I have seen how beneficial it is um, for you guys, anybody out there who might also be dealing with just a lot of stuff in their brain lately. Um, but I don't think I'm quite to that point yet. I've kind of started it though. Uh, so if you guys want to know in great detail what I've been going through and what I've been doing over the past month and a half, um, I actually kind of went into that over on Patreon because that's less scary to me to talk about it there than it is here at this point. It'll probably work its way onto this channel steadily, but I'm not quite to that point yet. Um, it's just less intimidating on smaller numbers over on Patreon. But Patreon is technically linked down below if you guys would like to uh, find out how my brain works. It's a messy place, I will give you that preface. Um, but I have, I made a post basically like when I disappeared initially back in like mid-December for all of my patron guys. And then my most recent whip and chat that I just uploaded over there, by the way, I do diamond painting over on my channel or over on my Patreon also. But I use my whip and chats where I'm just like working on a diamond painting as my time to just like mentally vomit all of my thoughts. <laughs> so those are my rambly uh, what's going on in my life videos in case you guys were curious. Um, so here's here's why I am. Uh, I don't really need to make a like comeback video or anything like that because I know you guys are cool with me just, you know, disappearing into the void without having to explain myself because that's the maturity level that I have reached. But I'm fine. Moral of the story, I'm fine. Thank you guys for all of the comments and messages that I have gotten over the past month. We're working on things. But the thing that has been stressing me out the most um, is this. I have a lot of stuff to go through haul-wise and also just like box-wise. Like that's the January unplugged book box that I was so excited to unbox for you guys. And I just couldn't bring myself to bring a camera out for the past like month. Um, so a lot of this is like Christmas stuff that you guys sent to me that I, I received and I feel very obligated to show you guys that I got it. Um, so that's, I guess, what this video is gonna be. All right, so yeah, I've got this huge stack. I don't have any sort of rhyme or reason because it's just been accumulating for a while. So we've got scissors, we've got the stack of things. Let's just start opening stuff and I'll chat with you guys. All right, first we've got this very small, very thin. Let's find out what it is. It is a very small, thin little book. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I just stumbled upon this book. I thought you might like it. Happy New Year. Hugs from Ireland. <gasps> Natalie. What is this? The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett, author of The History Boys. I'm intrigued. What's it about? Oh, look, it has little deckled edges. Um, let's see. From one of England's most celebrated writers, the author of the award-winning The History Boys, a funny and superbly observed novella about the Queen of England and the subversive power of reading. <gasps> Intrigue. When her corgis stray into the mobile library, I don't need to go any further. Uh, because I love the fact that the Queen has corgis. I'm a huge fan of corgis. It is my dream dog at this point. So when her corgi stray into the mobile library parked near Buckingham Palace, the Queen feels duty bound to borrow a book. <gasps> yes. Yes, this sounds so cute and it's so little. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, next we have a thing 
from the P.O. Box. Oh, I should have gone to the P.O. Box before I filmed this. It's been a while since I've gone, but I have gone since Christmas. So I got a lot of Christmas cards. Anybody who sent me Christmas cards, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I disappeared into the void at like peak holiday time. It was a rough three weeks for me though. Let me tell you, through Christmas and New Year's, I have was the sickest I've ever been. Uh, so you guys sending me things was just like, oh, there's a fuzzy foot sticking out. This is prolonging Christmas. I'm filming this on February 1st, by the way. I basically just reached the point where I was like, okay, we need we need to start filming again. And here we are. Oh, 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 okay, let me let me read the card real quick. This is from Marissa. Thank you. Oh God, I'm still still processing the Manny thing, and every time someone brings it back up. It just tears my heart back open. Um, it's like prolonging Christmas. It's a moose. I love it. I love it. You said, P.S. Sorry if the moose is too big. Are you kidding me? This could be the size of my house and it wouldn't be too big, okay? I will never say no to stuffed animals and comfort items, okay? I might be 31 years old. I will literally lose my mind over stuffed animals though. Look how cute he is. He has a little sweater on his little antlers. I love him. Okay, okay, I need to open this. It's like Christmas morning all over again. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe this was a good thing that I prolonged this because um, it's letting me feel like I actually am experiencing the holidays because I didn't. I really didn't. Um, I think this is going to be in the witch series that you have sent me earlier. The kitchen witch. Okay, yeah. These covers are so good. Annette Blair. Okay, I have received how many from the series now? Four, I think. And I am, okay, I'm happy to report that I'm starting to read again. I honestly took an entire month and a half off from essentially my life. All of the things that I normally used to do or that brought me joy, I just kind of like stopped and I've been working on myself. Um, but I have been steadily getting back into reading physical books, which I know is, it sounds dumb, but a majority of what I read is audiobook or Kindle, like ebooks on my Kindle these days. Even if I have the physical book, I will usually like borrow the audiobook so that I can listen to it while I'm at work so I can just like keep going with the story. But taking time off from doing everything for a substantial amount of time, I have been starting to actually read like physical paper books again. And you know what I'm picking up? Mass markets. They feel so comforting. Just like purposely used, loved, yellowed mass markets. Something about the crunchy pages and the smells just like, it's what my brain needs. So this is per, maybe I'm going to binge through this series. I am currently working on, um, the Terran Soul series and the Black Jewels trilogy, and both of which come in like good old mass markets. So I'm assuming this is part of that witchy series that you've been sending me for a while. This is honestly perfect. This is so good for me. Um, look at the little cat. All of the covers are so cute. I love these covers. I would get these as prints and hang them on my wall. They are so cute and like stylistic and witchy and retro. I love them so much. Thank you so much for the moose and the book and the note. Thank you. This is exciting. This is actually making me feel like I actually got like a Christmas this year. So thank you. Okay, another PO package. Y'all absolutely don't need to do this. I know I say this in every video, but I feel the need to reiterate it. No one ever needs to send me stuff, okay? Like just, I feel the need to say that because I'm a millennial and I feel the need to apologize for everything. Um, but just know that it means the world to me. Oh my God, this is still like Christmas. It's prolonging, it's prolonging Christmas. Also, yes. Okay, this is from Belinda, fellow RH and smutty romance lover, already best friends. Belinda, love you. Oh, you're in, I've seen your comments and you're on Patreon, right? Yes, okay. She personalized a book and sent a swag pack. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh, Manny, thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I am excited. Look at the sweat. Okay, there's a swag pack here. Hold on, hold the phone. I need to get to the books right quick. Is this, oh my goodness. Oh, it's a full bind up. So 
So this is the White Trash trilogy, which includes reviving Kendall, refusing Kendall, and reclaiming Kendall. Who is Kendall? Oh my goodness, the Kendall Davis story. And it is personalized. It says to Chelsea in a world full of haters be a Kendall. M-L-K-T-G. I don't know what that means yet, but I'm excited to find out. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, this is like... This is nice. Also, this is almost floppy paperback status. Like, this this has a good flop for bind up. Because bind ups are usually like these huge things. Okay, and then there is a swag pack, which I don't know what any of this... Okay, it's a, it has... M-L-K-T-G, and I'm assuming it is these characters. Um, and this is a little magnet. There are bookmarks and a bracelet and pins. I don't know who any of these characters are, but now I'm excited. Oh my God, there's so many bookmarks. There's so many bookmarks in here. <gasps> Holy guacamole, and I'm not even done. There's there's this, there's this in here. What is this? It's very um, cup shaped, vessel shaped. Sucker is well packaged, let me tell you. Um, So cute. Okay, use your words, Chelsea. Don't just sit there. Um, hold on. Look at this. It has a goat on it. It has like a mountain landscape. It says live free. Oh, mm, I love this. Okay, Belinda, you shoot, guys. Oh my gosh, you went so far above and beyond. Look at, look at it. It's hanging out. It's hanging out with my moose. I love you guys so freaking much. I'm so excited to start this. Um, yeah, you totally told me that you were sending me this on Discord, I want to say. Because I remember seeing the comment of you being like, so I'm sending you my favorite RH bind up or trilogy or something. I'm assuming this is it. And I'm assuming the MLKTG are the boys. K would probably be Kendall. So I'm guessing there's four boys in her. <gasps> Plus a goat thermos. Shoot. Okay, we're starting this. Toronto. Will this fit? Oh god, everything's falling. Hold on. Okay, I'm I'm a little verklempt right now. Okay, let's let's do this really quick. This is the January unplugged book box, and I feel like the worst friend in the entire world for not unboxing this as like an in individual video because this box specifically, okay, I'm gonna speed run through this. It's gonna be quicker than my normal unboxings. Um, this is Unlikely Allies. I know the book that is in this and I've known the book that was gonna be in this since probably July or August when she told me about it. So items, really quick. Oh, this is the cutest little teeny tiny chapstick. Is that a chapstick? Oh my God, if it is, that is the most precious thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So we have the Ninth Necromancer, Peppermint and Bone Scented. So I'm assuming that is um, Gideon the Ninth. Smells like peppermint, that's a chapstick. And then we have Jade Warriors. And this is literally the, okay, normal chapstick size, baby chapstick size. Is it even a chapstick? Oh, it's very red. Is this, I should probably actually look at the things, hold on. Okay, this one is Jade City Lip Tint. So this one is a tint, let's see how tinty it is. Oh, that's kind of nice. I think I actually already had uh, one on. So there's that. So lip balm, lip tint. We have a box. Uh, what is in the box? It looks like a drinking vessel of some sort. Oh, it's like a little stemless wine glass. Life before death, strength before weakness, journey before destination. That is, um, shoot. I feel like I just saw this. Uh, I, I'm going high fantasy, I just bought something that I think had this on it for somebody. This is it's the Way of Kings. Okay, y'all, I'm starting the Way of Kings this year. Um, I'm going back into fantasy mode this year. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but we're gonna we're gonna touch the Brandy Sandy this year is what we're doing. So Life Before Death, Strength Before Weakness, Journey Before Destination. That's because I was looking for Brandon Sanderson stuff for my friend who is obsessed with Brandon Sanderson. So that makes sense. Okay, next we have, what is this? Oh, is this an ear warmer? It looked like a bra at first, not gonna lie. I was about to be like, mm, I'm plugged. You are getting up close and personal with your subscribers. Um, this is so cute. This is like a little ear warmer, but look at the print. 
look at the print this is so cute so it's like fleecy on the inside and it's kind of like silky on the outside funsies that's cute okay uh we have this Malini, which is was a bubble elixir. It is mandarin, agave, and jasmine. Ooh, interesting scents. It's gonna be fruity. Ooh, that's nice. It smells like fruit punch. Do I know what that's from though? Malini. Um, the Jasmine Throne, which is also on hold. I have the Way of Kings on hold. I have the Jasmine Throne. I have she Who Became the Sun, I have Iron Widow. I have so many books on hold that I haven't been in the mood to read for so long and now I'm in the mood for it. So we're living our best lives. Let's see, we also have, ooh, a candle. <gasps> Devabad, I know what this is from. This is uh, the Devabad trilogy. Isn't it called the Devabad trilogy at this point? City of Brass, you know what I'm talking about. Spice tea, anise, 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 and cinnamon. Often the mightiest things have the humblest beginnings. Oh, it has like a little clove bud on it. Oh, it's very spicy. It smells like chai tea, actually. So we have a candle and we are down to the book, which has this very cool wrapping. And you guys, I, again, I'm gonna say I'm the worst booktube friend in the entire world for not doing an unboxing. I picked a really bad time of year to have a mental breakdown, uh, but we can't control these things, am I right? So this I knew was coming for so long. Um, hang on, well, hang on, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let me open it. Will you see the front or will I? I think I am. Julie, okay, you guys have seen me talk about this book. I read an arc of this. Julie, Julie Zantopoulos, uh, Julie from Pages and Pens, who is a booktuber on here. This is her first published book. And guys, it is so good. So she actually reached out to me and told me like early, early in the beginning of the like planning phase for this box that they were doing her book in one of their boxes. It was one of those like best friend proud moments where you're just like, oh my God. So this is an exclusive cover. It is blue. Normally this background is like a tealy color. Where's my copy? I'd have to get up. It's up there. Um, but I like the dark navy blue. This is nice. In case you guys haven't been around on my channel recently where I've been raving about this book ever since I read it. Um, this is like a new adult spicy fey urban paranormal. How would I? It's witchy. It's set in the real world, but like not all the times. Um, it is fey. It is spicy as spicy. Uh, and it's great. It's good times. It's all the things that I look for in a book. And I was so excited when I read this and it was legitimately so good. Like it's so terrifying to read books that your friends write because like you want to be super supportive, but you want to be honest. It was so good. Like honest review opinion. This is totally my type of book. So uh, this was featured. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of Julie. She was in a book box for her first book. Ah, it was amazing. But we've got that. Okay, so that was the January Unplugged book box. Um, let's see, we have these two came simultaneously. I opened them because they came before Christmas and I was ordering a lot of stuff. So these are both, I believe, from Kathy, who tends to send me a lot of stuff. Um, so I, I got, is this one the first one? No, I think the doctor is the first one. These packages go together, so hold on. She sent me this whole series by Nikki Sloan, which has been a series I've been dying to read for so long. Basically, I see everybody talking about this one. This is book two of the series. Book one is The Doctor, book two is The Pool Boy, and book three is The Architect. I've seen these two talked about the most, but this is book one, so we have to start here. I am not sure if, I, I'm assuming you can kind of read them as standalones because I'm assuming they follow different couples, but it is the Nashville Neighborhood series. Um, this one, don't know much about. I'm assuming it's a doctor. Romance, probably taboo. Um, pool boy. I know the plot of this one is a woman, I believe, finds out that her husband is cheating on her. So she leaves him. And I'm pretty sure she ends up with the pool boy who is substantially younger than her. So I think this is an age gap, but younger hero, older heroine, which is appealing. And this one, it's an architect. I got nothing. Uh, I'm assuming it follows an architect and a client. I'm not sure. She writes a very taboo smutty series, so I'm very excited to get to it. I've heard nothing but amazing things about the series, so thank you so much to Kathy Summers. Also, because I'm pretty sure Nikki Sloan is signing out of Polycon, so these will be traveling to DC with me to get them signed. 
if things are allowed to happen come July. Who knows what the state of the world will look like this summer, but as of right now, we're going to a Polycon and these will be coming with me. I'm so excited. So thank you so much to Kathy because uh, you send me a lot of stuff. Um, and just know that I appreciate it endlessly. Your little notes are going in all of the books so that I remember they came from you. Okie dokie. Next, this is a package from Hello Lovely. And I'm pretty sure that I know what this one is because I kind of, I kind of ordered it. Um, so, and also it just feels like a single book, which tells me that I know what this is. So this, let me just make sure this is the packing slip in here. I'm so excited. Yes, yes, duh. This is one of my unicorn books, just saying. Um, so this is the Hello Lovely version of Longshot. Long story short, they dropped the vault boxes at the end of last year where you could order all of their previous Hello Lovely exclusive cover versions of books. Like you could get, I think like half of 2019, like the early, like the, sp the spring and summer box, and then you could get the winter and fall box or you could order all of them. And they did it for, I think 2019 and 2020, and you could order basically their backlist fancy cover versions. And it was this huge deal. And I have basically been wanting this version of Longshot since I knew that Hello Lovely had it, but I hadn't been working with Hello Lovely when they did this. Um, so I missed out on this a long time ago. I want to say this was early 2019 and I have been dying to get my hands on it. I like relentlessly stalk all of my like romance buy sell trade groups trying to find this edition of it. <sighs> so Becca did offer it to um, the reps that we were allowed to choose one of the books that she would send to us as like a Christmas present. I obviously had to choose the Kennedy Ryan book. It was a toss up between this and Sinner, um, the second book in the pre-series by Sierra Simone, because that cover is also great. And Sierra Simone is also up there on my top tier authors, but it's, I couldn't not get Kennedy Ryan. So <sighs> It's signed. I'm dying. I'm dying. So thank you so much to Hello Lovely Box for gifting this my way. Also, why didn't I open this earlier? I knew what it was, but I wanted to give you guys an authentic unboxing experience. There you go. Okay, I do just have like stacks of books literally all over. Um, I wanted to include my dear friend Shayna. I brought up The Way of Kings earlier. Uh, she did send this my way. Also, this book has the perfect... Oh yeah, that was a good flop. Am I right? Like... Oh, that's good. That's good. The good floppy. Um, and there are illustrations in this. So we're going to be tackling the way of Kings this year. If it takes me all year long, it takes me all year long, but we're going to do it this year. So I also did want to include this just because this was sitting next to me. Oh man, look at that. These are cool. Ooh, these are some thin pages. I'm not intimidated. It's fine. Look at that. Look at that. This is fun. Love this. Um, okay. So we have this. Thank you to Shana. I've already talked to you and thanked you relentlessly for a while. Um, but I also did get two books from Berkeley. Um, I got The Love Con by Ceresia Glass. That's a great name. Um, first of all, let's talk about this cover. Like, I love it. Um, so this one follows... Kenya Davenport. She's a lover of anime, gaming, cosplay, and came from STEM parents. Um, and she dreams of being able to turn her creative hobby into a career. And she gets to join a reality show, Cosplay or No Way. So it's like a reality fashion design cosplay show. It says there's just one catch. The challenge for the final round is all about iconic duos. The judges want the contestants, significant others to participate. Unfortunately, she's single, so she brings her best friend on and he agrees to be her fake boyfriend for the show, which is obviously gonna lead to more. We love a good fake dating trope. How cute does this sound? Also, look at the freaking representation on this cover. All of the things. All of the things. This sounded way too good to pass up. We're gonna be reading this in February because this just looks like a February book. Look how valentine's -y it is um and they also had the special editions of ipb that's what the youngins are calling it these days do i sound cool yet um ice planet barbarians ruby dixon uh hit gold with tiktok last year when this made the rounds because i believe there's already this edition out like this fancy special edition version of ice planet barbarians and i want to say 
the second book also has its own special edition cover already. I don't know how far they're gonna go with that series because y'all that series is like 20 books long but I kind of love this cover. I love it. So those came by way of Berkeley. All right, we're out of room on that shelf. Do I have anything else to show you? I don't, I got diamond paintings. Yeah. Um, they finally got back in the one that has been on my wish list for the longest. Uh, oh my God, can you all see it? I'll put it on the screen. I've been wanting this diamond painting specifically for so long, but it sold out immediately when they initially released it and it's been on my wish list for so long. Basically since that day it sold out. It's been on there and they brought it back. I bought it immediately and as like a true um, consumer I had to add another thing to my cart in order to get the free shipping because that's how logic works. Um, so I got Moon Goddess because this is a limited edition painting as in it's going to be discontinued once they sell out of them um, and as an Avatar fan for life I couldn't let this one go. They started introducing Avatar diamond paintings, like Avatar The Last Airbender. There's this one, and then there is a um, Katara one that is also great that I might have to get, but it's a lot of very dark colors, and I get very moody when I'm doing a very dark diamond painting for a long time. But I figured this is a round. I don't think it's that big. This one is 56 by 56. That's a nice square, still very large diamond painting that will take me a while, but it's smaller than some of the ones I've been working on. So I got this one as well, and I am ridiculously excited over those two. What else have I gotten? I've gotten a bunch of crafting things because that's what I've been into. Um, so if you guys have interest in me just doing more craft content, like more than diamond painting, um, that'll be coming up. Oh, I have, I'm literally staring at a huge stack of Bell Book Box, Mystic Box, and Arcane Society stuff coming for you. All of those are from the same company, so I figured I would do one big unboxing of all of those at once. Um, so... That's, I'm gonna stop the video here. I think this is everything that I had to show you guys. Just wanted to say, hi, I'm alive. Thank you so much for this stuff. I wanna let you guys know that I got it. All the Christmas cards that I got. Thank you guys so much. It meant the world to me. Um, and I'm alive and I'm still here and I'll be working on the content. It might not be as much as I was doing before because I feel like that contributed to me burning out, um, but I will still be here pretty regularly. So hello, I'm alive. Thank you guys so much for still being here and for caring about me. I love you guys. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys in my next video.